Nothing is more fun than watching a good 8pm pirate game, high intense, just like complete madness. So that's what this video is, just two 8pm games back to back. I'm gonna skip quickly over the early game. I don't think it's anything special, just me, you know, staying on one, getting a triple, finding Hogger with Gallywix, and I'm going into 8pm Pirates from there. So I would say sit back, relax, get a snack, and uh, the second game of this is Ixirella game, where I it's a bit different. I've never really had an 8pm game like Ixirella, so you'll see what that is all about. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll cue some good music, and if you want to know how to play 8pm Pirates, I do have like another video on, on it, but I would say try and figure out what my plays are Usually I try and just get bigger get stronger with infinite gold Obviously you can cycle a lot and just do pirate stuff, right? But if you want to set up a late game if possible if you're truly infinite You can try and go for a Mulligans, try and go for you know the best possible comp golden baron golden selfless uh, Poison whatever the hell you want to do uh, So here is my turn six hugger on Gallywax with another pair on the board and Gallywax can technically do APM pirates somewhat with a single hogger or with two hoggers that's not really infinite but because of your hero power you generate so much extra gold that it's almost impossible to get your entire turns done anyway so even with double hogger you will have or you'll be able to play it to great effect i also found a peggy already so right now i'm not really apm mode i'm just still collecting the pieces until we'll be uh, you know at that stage uh, generally speaking as well if you go APM you need uh, like salty looters first or peggies I actually prefer peggies because then you can buy you know whatever you can generate stats in multiple different ways we're able to face a ghost here meaning we can level and try and find a second hugger since we have no pairs it's not like we can triple into more huggers and Tony one important key piece is also like Tony because uh, it allows you to way much easier go with golden hoggers and go infinite uh, find a golden peggy scale up uh, especially if you can greet for a turn now this will be a super fast it's already a top six so it seems like I won't have too much time and I still only have a single hogger and a single peggy now I also have a, a looter I picked up a brand because brand with a pirate comp is great you can buy so many different ways to generate money like the mural zones your arms get double stats and again you can try and set up for a malignons if that's what you want to do now i did have to sell my brand otherwise my turn didn't work out i found eliza here i still have another pair um which is obviously amazing skelly eliza which isn't really a pm but it's just strong enough to help you survive because one thing though is that if you don't hit the nuts it's hard to try and pop off, uh, so you need some sort of tempo to help you stabilize, which is very often just an Eliza. Uh, and, but like I've mentioned before as well, Eliza comp isn't in that good of a spot right now, since it is hard to find triple Kadga, triple Baron. All of those uh, scam comps need a lot of specific cards, and you know, if you're not Reno with multiple hero powers or Zephyrus, it's really hard to get triples onto all of those key cards without uh, Faceless on being on tier 5 anymore. So just going with an actual good stated pirate comp is often better. Scally comp is also easy to counter with like reborn taunts and void lords uh, anyway i feel like i'm talking a lot rambling on we're about to hit the double hugger points and then there's no coming back i'll cue the hype music and i'll stop talking so you guys can just enjoy some high actions gameplay uh, until the Xirella game comes around and i'll i'll hop in again and give my two cents on uh, how i got into the situation <laughs> And cue some. I think the, the Xirala APM game is probably a lot better than this one since this is just like single hugger for a bit, then double hugger. Uh, and with Gallywix, it's also your hero power helps you out. And Xirala game is just nuts. So, hope you all enjoy it. Time to cue the music, and uh, I'll, I'll see you in a little bit. Like Marvel, uh, never 
top on the cover. Uh, we got a new project. Uh, new friends like a lover. Uh, you be the judge like a rival. Click, click, dude, try to say, say, send this box to be a show, be When it click, click, dude, try to say, say, send this box to be a show, be fun. up hot for a minute.
Now onto the Xyrella game, like I mentioned, this one's gonna be a little bit more interesting and also high stakes. Again, I'll skip over the early games, it's pretty boring. I just stay on one and do Xyrella things. So I buy stuff, try and hit triples uh, and see where we can go from there. Now, I think it would be helpful if you try and play along with the AP Empire stuff, figure out what you would do if you would make the same buys as me or if you would skip certain things. Because I think the only limit is your APM, right? How many actions you can be get done in a turn. So sometimes it's not worth buying certain pirates or certain cards even though they would just like be good because you have no time for it and it's better to roll for essential things because uh, as you saw last game uh, i didn't go super high apm because i did only have two hoggers and you know a finite amount of gold essentially even though i was galliwix uh, i was able to spend most of it and I set up a nice late game with amalgadon reborn my ex now almost selfless uh this game i triple into four jobs because four jobs are just great i have an amazing event setup i do have witch wing to give me some money now i'm gonna take mechano tank because it turns my event into great tempo as well so um, i'm turning shitty cards on the board into more money generation, potential triples, and tempo. And uh, that's great, because five jobs generally suck. Last game, I only went for a five because I was galley, and you know, there is hogger potential, and with Gallywix, it's a lot of fun, which we were able to hit. Now, we just go straight to five. I think we're strong enough. We got so much economy. Uh, we have so many pairs that I'll just, you know, keep leveling, since I do still have my four armor. I don't think uh, Xyrella should deserve armor, but here she is just rocking it. That's why I think Xyrella one is, is one of the best heroes right now. You can stay on one, get easy triples, uh, especially in Avenge Meta, and you get you get armor. Uh, straight to six, you know, I am still haven't taken damage. I'm up against a Shenvala. Someone is dead already, even though I'm playing a, a scuff board like this. And now on six, we're just rolling. Uh, preferably, I would go Elementals here. I have a Genie, and, you know, Elementals on tier six is pretty good with Lil Rag, all the potential that you have with, like, Genies, and y you know how they can snowball, right? So that's why um, I try to lean into that more. But I'll still take a Hogger, because, you know, it's a single Hogger. If I find a second one, I can transition maybe and make something work so I also still have this double Skellywag pair so in Eliza would be amazing tempo and I do find double Hogger plus a Tony and like I said we have an amazing event setup I was literally milking with this uh, witch thing but it seems like we're able to just guarantee going infinite since we have a golden Hogger coming up a normal Hogger and a Tony that is guaranteed to trigger uh, and we still have tempo with this tank we still have a full hand by the way like I had so much economy so many cards in hand that I, I just felt like yeah we're gonna go to six and make anything work in a turn we have we have so many rolls uh, and guess what that's that's the case we even have a shitty amalgam on here but I can module it uh, I still have a handful of, of things that I can do and next turn clearly we're gonna explode so once again sit back enjoy the show try and follow along and figure out what you would do um, now this turn or this game is a little bit laggy so in between the games I have or in between a fight I have to reconnect to fix my leg that's still an annoying issue with AP Empires now there's people that disconnect so they have more time next turn I really hate doing that I don't think uh, that that's something that I'm I'm up to I like the challenge of just seeing how much I can I can get done normally in a game so yeah this is how you transition into AP Empires on tier 6 in a single turn uh, have fun enjoy
Okay, so this fight, I'm not gonna lie, we got some pretty unfortunate hits. They found a massive poison amalgadon that kill our biggest unit, our two biggest units for free. So it's gonna end up being a second place. I still think this game was uh, a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed this 8pm style compilation thing. Let me know what you thought down below and I'll see you in the next upload.